Hey there, fellow travellers. Welcome back to Destination Diversions, where we explore the quirkiest corners of travel and culture. Today, we've got a festive treat for you as we dive into some lesser known and downright quirky facts about Christmas. And trust me, you're going to want to stick around until the end for a fiery surprise in Sweden. But first, let's blast off with our first fact. Did you know that even astronauts get into the holiday spirit? Picture this, it's 1968 and the crew of Apollo 8 is orbiting the moon. In a historic moment, they read from the book of Genesis on Christmas Eve. We are now approaching uh, lunar sunrise and uh, for all the people back on Earth, the crew of Apollo 8 has a message that we would like to send to you. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth, and the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. Talk about the ultimate celestial Christmas celebration. Now, let's rewind to the 19th century in Germany. Tired of shedding needles and messy cleanup, they crafted the world's first artificial Christmas tree out of goose feathers. I guess they were going for the feathered look long before it was trendy. The 12 days of Christmas traditionally begin on December 25th and end on January 5th, culminating in the celebration of Epiphany. Each day is associated with a gift. But did you ever wonder about the inspiration behind the 12 days of Christmas song? It was more than just a catchy tune. During a time when Catholics couldn't openly practice their faith in England, the song served as a secret code to teach religious doctrine. Sneaky, right? Let's add some sweetness to our Christmas knowledge. The candy cane, that iconic striped treat, originated in Germany around 1670. Originally, it was a straight, all-white stick, symbolizing the shepherd's staffs who visited baby Jesus. Talk about a tasty piece of history. Now, hold on to your Santa hats. In 17th century England, Christmas was banned by the Puritans for being too decadent and pagan. It took the restoration of Charles II to lift the ban, bringing back the merry festivities. Imagine a Christmas-less Christmas. Before we unwrap more holiday surprises, make sure you're subscribed to our channel. Hit that subscribe button and join our community of curious travelers. You won't want to miss out on more fascinating facts and cultural explorations. Now back to our Christmas countdown. The first Christmas card was commissioned in 1843 by Sir Henry Cole and illustrated by John Colcott Horsley. Now, fast forward to the space age. In 1965, astronauts aboard Gemini 7 sent the first Christmas card from space to mission control. Nothing says holiday cheer like a space-themed greeting from the cosmos. Now, let's explore the darker side of Christmas. In parts of Austria and Hungary, they celebrate Krampus night on December 5th. Picture this. A demonic figure named Krampus punishes the naughty while Saint Nicholas rewards the nice. It's like Santa's good cop, bad cop routine. Jumping to Japan, where KFC takes the spotlight during the holiday season. You see, in the 1970s, KFC launched a clever marketing campaign. Kentucky Christmas! Kentucky for Christmas, turning the fast food joint into a Japanese Christmas tradition. Move over, Turkey. It's all about the fried chicken, heading to Ukraine, where Christmas trees get a unique touch. Legend has it that a poor widow and her children once found a pine cone, which they cared for, and it miraculously turned into a Christmas tree. The spiders in the house spun webs on the tree, and when the children woke up on Christmas morning, the webs had turned into strands of gold and silver. A bit creepy, but also strangely beautiful. And now, folks, get ready for a flaming finale in Sweden. In the town of Gavel, a massive Yule goat is erected every year. But here's the twist. Almost every year, despite efforts to protect it, it becomes a target for arsonists, turning the Yule goat into a fiery Christmas spectacle. One YouTuber even recreated the goat and it's burning in Minecraft. There's even a YouTube channel dedicated to keeping an eye on the goat and sharing the burning with the world, so stay tuned. Well, that wraps up our festive journey through Christmas traditions around the world. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and ring that notification bell to stay updated on all our cultural adventures. 
From all of us here at Destination Diversions, we wish you happy holidays and safe travels. Until next time, stay curious.